Pushing a foul. Clipping. Offense. Clipping, I know from your days as a player, that's something that just makes you cringe. Well, it does. It really cringe just for the player because it, it puts them at such a disadvantage. They can't protect themselves. And you're always fortunate if you don't get hurt in, in, when one of these calls is made. Asante Samuel has his hands on it. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception. Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. It's handed to the running back. Well, even though they have a lead here, it's late in the fourth quarter. You still got to be unpredictable. Keep the defense on edge. As I always say, make the defense react and not attack. So make them guess what plays you're going to run. Getting away from the pressure. Oh, and almost picked up that time. Outstanding coverage on the deep throw, forcing the incompletion. That's why he's one of the best in the league. He's aggressive. He can take away short passes, but also has the speed and the ability to get back there and knock down those deep ones, too. Three-step drop. Escaping the pressure, the throw to the left. They bring him down at the 41-yard line. The Falcons are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Matt Bosher ready to punt. The fake is on, and they're looking to pick up the first. Inhales the pass. One team's hopes have been dashed. The other gets to live for another week and one step away from a possible Super Bowl. Heading on to the conference championship next week. When you win in this round, you win in the divisional round, you know now they're just one more victory away from the Super Bowl stage. What a victory here today. It is that dream that you have of going to the Super Bowl. We got a lot closer after today's game, and to beat such a quality opponent gives you confidence. You feel good about everything you're doing. You can't wait for that conference championship game. Francisco, gold is more than a color. It's a standard. It's the brilliant chemistry of Walsh and Montana. To Steve Young ripping the monkey off his back. To chase Jerry up that hill. It's about elevation in the ATM. 
is the flight of Tony G. The Dirty Bird. And Dion High stepping to pay dirt. To rise up to the challenge. The Georgia Dome is the site for this matchup between the 49ers and the Falcons. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims, and welcome to the NFC Championship game. A whole lot at stake here. The winner moves on to the Super Bowl. And, Phil, your thoughts before kickoff. Oh, Jim, exciting time for everybody involved. We can hear the crowd. They're so into it. And I'll tell you what, you get in these big games and uh, a chance to win and go to the Super Bowl, you cannot be afraid to take chances, especially the coaches. If the opportunity is there, if you've got to go forward on fourth down, if you need a fake punt, call those plays to give your team the best chance to win. And for the players, quit looking at the scoreboard. Just play hard. Focus in on every play. And if you do that, that'll give you your greatest chance to win. Kaepernick's the man in charge of the offense here today. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. And the give to Frank Gore, and he's brought to the ground. Vernon Davis is a playmaker of the tight end position. Oh, he definitely is. The fastest tight end in the NFL. And now you take a quarterback with a big, strong arm like Colin Kaepernick, and you've got to look out for Vernon Davis from start to finish. Second and nine, Gore trying to power his way right up the middle. The defensive line will be the focus here in this game. If they're disrupting the quarterback, the rest of the defense will have a chance to do their thing. McDonald's playing out of position in the backfield here. Working that left side off the mark. They're in punting formation. Breaks the tackle. Gains nine. Davis going to march onto the field. The defense comes out in the nickel. Out of the shotgun. He'll fire it out to the left. And he is tackled down at the 38-yard line. Hey, Phil, looking at these lineups, Julio Jones and the Atlanta Falcons. What a threat he is. Yeah, he is. You know what it makes me think of when I see Julio Jones? Why didn't the University of Alabama throw it to him more? He is. He's got everything, too, Jim. You've got to find ways to get the football in his hands and let him make some plays. And here's a look at the defensive unit that will be looking to halt this offense today. It's third down coming up. There's a yellow marker down on the field. Gets away from the pressure, challenging the defenders to the right side. Offside, defense. He was trying to get an early jump on the play, but the referee caught him in the neutral zone. A lot to overcome here, especially that penalty. And it's third down. Looking to the right side and throwing. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. When you play a cover three defense, you protect against the deep pass. But the problem is all the underneath stuff is wide open, and the quarterback is taking advantage of that. And he's tackled down at the 36-yard line. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Tony Gonzalez with the haul. 
I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just it, it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple of yards. First and 10. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. And the hit by Namdi Asamoa. Well, I guess the best thing to say there, Jim, is they completed the pass, but it still did not get a first down. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Second and six. He's scrambling now. And that's a tackle by Namdi Asamoa. Titans to the ground here. First down by the offense in the red zone, and you know, you're on the defensive side. You don't have to worry about deep passes anymore. You can be more aggressive and take some chances. This will be the eighth play of this drive. First and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. What a catch. Touchdown. bigger the game, the more you want to score first. And here in this conference championship game, to get on top, now you got your opponent chasing you. That is a tough spot to be in. Add the extra point, the kick is good. End of one here in Atlanta, Georgia. We'll be back momentarily for the start of the second. He'll take a knee here, and that means the offense will start the game at the 20. First down coming up. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. He's brought down. Good job by the defensive player squaring up that running back and just put his big butt right into the ground. Second down and eight. Gore is taking the handoff. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stopped him for a short game. And Manningham's lined up in the slot. Third down and five. And they bring down the quarterback. And it's a three and out for the offense. You're talking about a bonus. When you get a defensive tackle that can get in the backfield and sack the quarterback, that is something special. Great job that time by the big D tackle. Set up return. Here he goes. Gains 12. This will probably be the last play before the two-minute warning. First down and 10. Looking to scramble, looking for an open receiver on the right. Well, you got to do that now in this NFL. When you're in trouble in the pocket, you got to be able to run out there and find a way to complete a pass, and he did that time. We've hit the two-minute warning here in the first half. The 49ers come out in the nickel. Drop back, shotgun formation. Throwing now to his left. And for about six. When you play zone in the NFL, what you're trying to do is make the quarterback hold the football just for a half a second longer, and you hope the pass rush can get there. They don't that time. That's why he got the completion. Gets away from the pressure. Hard to throw over some of these linebackers in the NFL now. They got such good size. You try to throw over them. Here's what happens. These big guys will knock it down. Third and four. Scrambling out of the pocket. And he was wide open. He's in for the touchdown. Good job by the quarterback that time. He used his ability to get out of the pocket, and he is deadly 
throwing the football on the run. And the extra point is good. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. Better judgment says, take a knee. On first down. And here's the pass incomplete. I don't know what was more terrible. That was a terrible route, terrible throw by the quarterback. Oh, and what a shot. It's incomplete. And Manningham's a receiver in the slot. Halfway through the second, and here's the snap. What a hit, and the ball is dropped. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. Out of the eye, they give it to the tailback. The Falcons are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Andy Lee will be punting this one. He's going to challenge the punt coverage. And they bring him down at the 44-yard line. Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. Quick drop back. Running away from the pressure. Throws to the right. Runs out of bounds. When you're on the defensive side, you just cannot lose containment even on a quarterback. That time they pressure him in the pocket. He takes out. There's no containment on the outside. He gets out there, nobody open to throw it to, so he just picks up some big yards running the ball. Challenging the defenders to the right side, and he's tackled at the 32-yard line. That's a nice route on the outside. Nice throw by the quarterback. Puts him in good position to keep moving and get a first down. Offense lines up here. Second and six. Looking to the right side and throwing. Falcons get a first down. That last play made by Patrick Willis. When you throw this pass as a quarterback, you've got to stick it right onto the body of the wide receiver. They are nervous because they're running across the middle. Davis is going to take the snap from the shotgun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football's arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. From the gun. In trouble now. And he's forced to the ground. Well, if your offensive line's not good enough just to stop the pass rush, then you got to help him out. How do you do that? Well, you keep the tight end in, let him be an extra blocker, and you tell your running backs to help out, too, blocking some of these defensive linemen. On the run, looking for an open receiver on the right. The tackle was made short of the first, and that'll bring up fourth down. The Falcons, one timeout remaining. The Falcons now getting set for a field goal. And he drives it through for the field goal. So that's going to do it for the first half. Falcons are up in this one. The Falcons ready to return the kick. And a touchback. Split that field here. The second half gets rolling now as he takes the snap. Well, anytime you're talking about a successful run in the NFL, the running back is going to be a big part of that. Breaking tackles, but this time it was just the vision of the running back. He picked the right hole and picked up some nice yards. And he's going to be brought down. This quarterback has shown us he can do everything. Good in pass coverage down the field. 
physical at the point of attack, can tackle running backs when they come out there. And how about that blitz that time? Good timing and gets the sack on the quarterback. Third down and seven. Looks to his left. Makes the reception. He's going to be brought down, and that's going to be a three and out for this offense. Nice job that time by the defense, knowing the situation. Go ahead and let the quarterback complete the pass. Just make sure you come up and make the tackle before the first down. Good job. Fourth down coming up. Throws to the right. Makes the grab and keeps the ball moving down the field. That's a first down catch. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing lead, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs. Here's the first snap after the big play. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. It's always good for the quarterback to really do a good job faking the pass right before the draw play. Get the defensive lineman up the field, get the linebackers dropping back for pass, and there's an open gap that the running back took advantage of. Kind of refreshing to watch, isn't it, to see a team that has faith, the toughness, and the patience to just keep running the football, grinding out these first downs, resting their defense, and tiring out the opponent's defense. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Play action. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Almost intercepted that time. Just stick the football on him. When you see a receiver run a route like this, they're going to the corner, drive it, throw it on the line drive, so that way there can't be a mistake. Trying to work that left side. Almost intercepted. Nice job that time by the defensive player. He is all over the wide receiver in this man-to-man -man coverage, and there was just nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Failed to pick up the first down, and they'll give the ball back to the other side. Terrible game management that time by the coach. It's three downs, it's fourth down. What should you do? Well, I think you should punt it. He goes for it and puts his defense in a tough position. First and 10. Frank Gore gets it here. And the tackle is made right around the 39-yard line. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. Second down and eight. Looking to the right side and throwing. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. Third down and 14. The interception. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. Jackson's a running back normally, but this time lined up as a receiver in the slot. First and 10. Gonna take off with it. And he's taken down. Good job with the safety getting that sack. I, I, I'll say this. He can tackle, he can cover, and he's shown us he can get to the quarterback. Play action. Escaping the pressure, launching it deep. And he makes the catch. That'll stop the play right there. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. First down, following the long play. Quarterback flips it, and he's in for the touchdown.
That was just an awful job, wasn't it, by the defense? I mean, it's first and goal. Well, you know it's going to be a run, or I think you should be playing run. The defense not ready. They get overpowered, and they give up the running touchdown. It's good. minutes to go and we'll return after this message and a word from your local station. The 49ers will now be in an even deeper hole here as they get ready to return the kick. Scores 24 to 0. This one's not leaving the end zone. Colin Kaepernick will be taking this one from the gun. We are back for the start of the fourth quarter. And it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. Well, it's so hard to do this nowadays to jar the football out of the hands of the receiver. But the defender did it that time. He hit him. That football came loose. Incomplete pass. Second and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line. And sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion by Third and ten. And they sack him on third down, and they force the quick three and out. Name of the game is hit the guy with the football. The quarterback has it. The defensive end, what a job by him. Gets by the tackle and sacks the QB. Should be a routine punt. Going to try his luck here. Spins away from contact. What a good job by the punt returner that time. He caught it, didn't panic, he waited, he saw the blocking in front of him, made some good decisions, and a good punt return. Jackson's lined up in a single back formation. Jackson, a tackle behind the line. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. There's a lot of extra weight out there for this jumbo set. Two minutes to go in the second half. Coming up, second down. Trying to make something happen. Kind of completion this time. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. Flex round, flex round, now, the looks of that, you can round. tell, it looks like a major injury. And, uh, round, uh, it's, just, it's a tough sport, a lot of big hits, and uh, I hope he's going to be okay. Getting away from the pressure. Another third down conversion. The offense continues to come through in the clutch. They face first down. Steven Jackson gets it here. They get to him just in time. One yard shy of the first down. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. And pick up about four. Good job by the offense getting the first down in the red zone. Now it becomes tricky. Can you deceive the defense where you get a chance to get a score? They're able to move the chains after that last run. Chains it across the goal line for the touchdown. I would bet first and goal that the offense about 90% of the time is going to run the football. And what do they do here? They run it and they get it done. That is power football at its best. The 49ers have really put themselves in a tough position now as they await kickoff. Scores 31 to 0. 